But who's the baddest dude that you ever played with or against? The baddest dude I ever played on, against. On the field. Like, the guy who might have scared you a little bit. Made you nervous. He was on my team, Larry Allen. Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously. He wasn't human. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> Which changes everything about your advantages. Um, he was strong. I was a rookie. He was a veteran. He wanted me to buy him a bottle of Louis the 13th. I had no idea what that was. <laughs> Didn't know what it cost. I went to the I went to the liquor store. Um, can we can we talk about alcohol on here? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we can. Yeah. I already started. Yeah. Uh, went to the liquor store. I realized it was twenty five hundred dollars for a bottle. Went back to the locker room. DP had no idea what was going to happen to me because I didn't buy the bottle. $2,500. I couldn't really compute that at the time. I was still fresh out of Baton Rouge, broke and poor. I hadn't realized I was in the NFL. So I was like, bro, I, I'm not buying that bottle. He was like, you going to buy that bottle. <laughs> I was like, I'm not buying that bottle. Uh, and I told him, I said, whatever you got to do, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it, man. Really? It was like a jail situation. <laughs> it's not happening. I would have borrowed the money to buy the bottle. Nah, Dan. You sometimes you got to put your foot down, even if it means you might lose a foot. <laughs> and what happened? Well, we you know we tussled, we tussled at practice, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I lost, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. 